Hello everyone, welcome to Caroline's Craftery. Today we are just doing a little what's up, what's happening in my craft room, things that I've completed over the last couple of weeks. Um, I'm happy with a lot of the stuff that I've done. Just wanted to share with you and give you some ideas. So I did do a video on these. These are made out of a little fancy box and I finally got them all finished, all, oops, all decorated, you know, items on the top. So they're ready to all put into my finished pile of goodies. Some I know you've seen in the video, but I th think they turned out pretty cute. I like how they turned out. Now, I bought, I had a couple silicone molds and I bought some of this stuff. It's a UV resin. I, I got it at Michael's because I've been wanting to try some UV stuff, or not UV, but resin stuff. And I just happened to be in there and they had some on sale really cheap cheap and then you um cure it either out in the sun or with this little uv battery operated flashlight now i've never really done any resin stuff and i was actually very impressed with how easy and how it worked out so these are from the silicone dyes that i have they did cure fairly quickly they are clear but I should be able to paint them. So I'm going to play with those just because I wanted to try it. I don't know if it'll go anywhere, but we'll see. So I've got those. Here are some odds and ends that I've been working on. I've been doing some pin stitching on cards. So these are all hand stitched. And these ones are ready to go into my finished pile of goodies love 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 the lavender i've got two more lavenders that i need to put the borders around but love how they turned out absolutely love them so we got those i was doing some cleaning and i found four of these flower cards i got these from kim newberg and i just backed them with some scraps of papers that i had actually all backed with the same stuff but then I just put some lace and I'm just gonna trim this thread off trimmed them with lace put this little piece of really old lace on the top and then just three of those ribbon roses that I had I've got quite a few of them so it felt good using those up We've got a nice red one, pink, and yellow. So those turned out, I thought, really, really good. Like them. Something else to add to my finished pile. Now, when you see this, this video might not be out, but I made these gear flowers. And I thought, well, I'd show them in this video. But they turned out really cute. Now, I, these are wooden gears that I got from the Lions Club. You would have seen them in one of the Thrifty Canucks videos. But they turned out really, really cute. I really like them. I wish I had more of these gear type things. But I show you how I do that in the video. But I got eight of them all together. Then I took that a step further. And I did these with some die cut flowers that I had. Love them. Absolutely love these. And I've got a video coming out on these as well. And how you can make your template for these flowers. But I got lots of them in there. Lots of different colors. And like I say, these were just out of scrap cardstock. I've got had the dies for the flowers and then I did the stitching so stay tuned for a video about that it might be out by the time you see this 
not really sure what order they're all coming out. Then we've got a bunch of digitals. Now this was a freebie. You can tell when I show the digitals what numbers on them. KF is coffee freebie, so we got that. And then these ones here, you can see the number MK, which member coffee. And right now, 170 exclusive digitals. But there's that one. There's one about just like tags. And these are all like a fairy theme. Fancy fairies, I'm calling them. And more tags for the members. And a sheet of tickets. Love these. I love tickets. I love using them. And then some large, weird shaped journal cards. And to kind of go with that, I did a kit. Now, I think there's 10 pages of these fancy fairies. It's in all the shops. So here is some journal cards. All of these fancy fairies. We have some, these are kind of like an ATC size and then we've got another page of them so every one of these pictures is a different fairy and then we've got some large postcard size beautiful colors I've got them in different colors there's the yellow there's some purple ones some pink ones So, so pretty. Love these. Love, love, love them. And then some orange. I hope you'd like them too. And then we've got some like rainbow type colors. Of course, the purple ones are my favorite because purple is my favorite color. We've got greens. So if you love fairies, you will love this kit. And if you're a coffee member, you get other freebies that go with these. So there's that. And then I did a woodland animal kit. Can't remember. What did I call it? Woodland, woodland animals, pages, and cards. There is, I want to say there was 14 pages, journal pages like this, and then eight or something of cards. I just love how these turned out. Very, um, I don't want to say muted, but they're, the colors are, are intense, but not bright. I guess lots and lots of detail with them. Great little field mice. And rabbits. I love rabbits. I used to raise rabbits for many, many years. Raccoons. Got squirrels. Gotta love squirrels. And then, of course, by the time you fold them, I think I'm going to do a journal out of this. We got bears and birds, fox and deer. Hedgehogs and gross. Just tried to do a little bit of a mixture of animals. Another raccoon. Raccoons are very pretty, but they're a pain in the butt if you happen to have them live around your house. We have some that hang around our place. Bears. And cute deer. Birds and foxes. 
And then we have the cards, which are kind of postcard size. And all the different, the pictures on the cards are different than the pictures on the pages. So you get quite a variety of animals. These could go in botanical, a woodland theme, an animal theme. Um, they could go in all kinds of themes. I really like how the cards turned out. And then I did some one sheet of squares because these are so nice to use. They are excellent for hidden paper clips. I do have a tutorial from a while back where I used squares of, um, they were the William Morris flower collection thing that I did. And I turned the squares into hidden paper clips. And I loved how they turned out. So these would be just perfect. Now I try to make squares out of different things because I do like the way the paper clips turned out. So that is it. That's all I have for now. It's been busy. I've been doing some cleaning as well and some purging of stuff. But that's what I've been up to. What have you been up to in your craft room? And hopefully you will like, subscribe, share, all that stuff. And we'll see you soon in another video. Bye for now.